In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to become the best user in Madden 18. What's up guys, my name is Cody, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at uh, the best way, that the best practices, the best things, the tools that you can really utilize to become a really, really good user in Madden 18. And the first tool that I want to give you is a tool on the kickoff, and that's the click off button. So basically what you want to do is you want to run your guy down in turbo. Once he gets near the guy, you want to click off. Let the computer make the tackle. The reason is because... Um, in my my experience, if you if you click off, you're you're gonna make more tackles. You're you're just going to. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, I, I just want to take a moment to welcome you guys. I just wanted to get right into the tips. But if you're new to the channel, I do want to welcome you. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video, and I want to encourage you that if you uh, this channel is devoted to trying to help people get better. And in my belief, the only way you get better is if you ask the right questions. So if you have questions related to Madden 18 things that you haven't been able to solve, cases you haven't been able to crack, then please leave those questions in the comment section. All right, so the first thing for today's video, the user tactic that I want to focus on is called um, uh, bait, bait and switch, bait and switch. So basically you're going to follow one and then you're going to go to another route. Okay, now most, now here's here's something interesting that, that is also important for your user player. Most people don't do this. If you get this out of the video, then I, I don't think you need anything else. Most people's problem with their user is not is not that they're not good with a user. It's that they don't have the right predefined, um, the, they don't have the right predetermined routes to take away. They don't. Okay, and this is this is a common mistake. So one of the things that you can do, uh, in my opinion, is pre is predetermine what what the offense is going to do. Um, it's a, it's an it's an essence. It's guessing, but. What you'll be able to accomplish through it is you will find that most of the time you guess, you're often correct. Okay, you're often correct. So like right here, and every play has specific weaknesses. So, for example, on that specific play that you just saw, I ran cover three hard flats. So I know the weakness is the corner routes. So if you go back and watch that play on the tape, the corner route over the middle or on the right side of the field is open. However, what I did with my user player is I went from the left side out route. I started there and then I left it and went to the corner route. Okay, that's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about baiting. Here, what you're going to see me do is I'm going to is I'm going to go right to the tight end and then I'm going to go to the slot receiver. Okay, and I'm actually going to put this triangle guy in a zone. So I'm going right here and then I'm going over here. Here, he actually hail mary fourth down long. Not ever going to get that. I don't know why he went for it. He's probably going to quit out. But that's that's what I'm kind of talking about when I talk about bait switch, um, basically making those little things. And, and what I really think will help you guys a lot tremendously is if you predetermine um, in your plays what you want your guy to really accomplish. So if, if, if you want him to cover the left side flat route manually, well, you have to know that before the ball is snapped. Or before you even come out, before you even call the defensive play, I would suggest knowing that that's that's a thing that you're going to have to do. The only time that you would switch it is if you know something crazy happened, and you know you know you no longer have the same look. They they come out in a completely whack job formation that they would only run once every 30 plays, and you know exactly where they're going to do. But the predetermining of your job in my opinion is really critical to your success so if you can do that one thing that would really transform the way most of you guys see user defense because the the difference between the, the people that are really really good at user control and the people that are really really bad at user control is the people that are really really good number one they probably have more repetitions they've done it longer so they know a little bit of the ins and outs and they've just kind of learned watch videos and that kind of stuff but the major difference that i've seen especially in my own personal, uh, as I grow in user defense and as I try to get better every season, the major thing that I continually consistently see from problem, from Skimbo, from people like that, is they predetermine what they're going to do with their user. They, and, they, and, and they'll predetermine, so if they're going to take away, um, you know, if they're going to take away the post route, what they're often going to do is they're going to start at the drag route and then jump back to the post route. That that mechanic I 
showed you uh, earlier, which is called, I call it bait and switching. People call it different things, but, but that's in essence what they do is they do that. Okay. So that's one option. Um, there's, there's a couple of other things you could do. I mean, you could go, you know, if you want to stop a drag route, then you could get really aggressive on that and stop the drag route. But you just have to decide. Uh, but in my opinion, the people that aren't very good at user control is when they're watching the play post snap and trying to figure out what they should do. Okay. You should, pre I mean, you can guess wrong occasionally, but normally you're going to be right. Normally you're going to know especially when you're with your defense. So when I run that cover three defense, here's another example of that click off tackling. This is also really important. So this is probably one of the most important things because if you can tackle, you can stay in any game. So basically once you get down there, you just click off and they make the tackle, okay? And this is, this for me, I just can't, I can't live when someone, uh, one, I was watching a video and the guy had had a couple kick returns and one of the guys that was saying, he was like, well, why can't this guy make this guy earn his drives. Uh, I try to make my opponent earn everything he gets. So if he just has a really good offense, that's cool. So like right here, I know my job is this left side. So I know right in here, and then he comes back around, so then I come down. So he's ran that play several times. It's tight and angle. Okay, so I know my assignment on, on, on LB cross is the left side seam and the left side curl flats, depending on the routes they run, uh, which I can pretty much predetermine, pre-tell you so here he comes out and trips. So now I know I got a slant route to the left side that I got to watch out for. Nope. Drag route over here. Goes to a screen. I can't control screens. You know, I can if I want to, but out of LB cross three, I can't. So those are just some of the mechanics. Another thing, and I've talked about this several times, is um, on the run, if you want to get better at user controlling the run defense, what I would suggest is just holding left trigger. Um, if you just hold left trigger, it normally does a pretty good job. Um, that was a pretty good play. I, that was probably my responsibility. I was trying to do a little bit too much there. But you just predetermine it. Because I know um, one of the one of the beauties of LB Cross, one of the beauties of this play, and if you guys want the actual setup, uh, I would suggest going to the premium membership. We have it in there. The premium membership is uh, it, it's a, in a link in the description of today's video. But I know on LB Cross 3 that my right side uh, seams and my right side deep blue all that stuff's covered the only thing open on the right side of the field is um, is a curl flat throw okay it's a curl flat throw so for me I know that so I'm going straight here right in here this is what I'm trying to take away and I think I'm gonna get dotted here yeah that's just bad defense I should have called cover too I was trying to show you um, LB cross but anyways so Again, just to reiterate one last time to you guys, two things really comes down to it with user control. Number one is to predetermine your job. So whatever your job is, you got to predefine it. Okay, make it specific, make it clear, make it so everybody knows what you're going to do with your player. Then the second thing is to use the bait and switch tactic, and so to to, to basically start at one route and then jump to another. Um, those are the two things that I think can really improve your user control in Madden 18. A um, couple things we mentioned in this video. The first one is that if you're new to the channel, uh, to consider hitting that subscribe button because um, the subscribe button will help you, um, or the subscribe button, the channel will help you get better at Madden, um, whether you believe it or not, it really will. And then the second thing we talked about is the premium membership. This is another way that you can get better at the game. There's a link in the description below this video that is going to give you access um, to an explanation about the premium membership, what it is, what you get, why you need it, and then you will be able to purchase it. So it's a year long subscription, uh, really, really good, really, really powerful content in there. So just encourage you to check